Oh my god, because I didn't film last week for a YouTube video, I genuinely feel like I've lost the capacity to film one. Like, how do I start one? I've done, like, a whole 10 minute intro, which I hated, and I've tried to refilm this little bit. The cam am camera angle, like, why is it more that side? But I keep, I feel like I've lost the ability to film a YouTube video. But anyway, we're gonna try, we're gonna keep going, hopefully I get back into the wriggle of that's not the right word wriggle of it like the rhythm of it i can't remember what it is but welcome back to another youtube video this week's vlog is well this week's video is a weekend vlog it's currently easter weekend um, and i wanted to spend it with you guys so we're going to spend the weekend together i'm very sorry there wasn't a vlog last week so in terms of that i was supposed to do like a weekend vlog or a what i ate with me or like what i eat over the weekend which i'll probably do next weekend now um but last week i was just exhausted so you may or may not know but i do have have an underactive thyroid and i ran out of my tablets and i wasn't on them for i want to say 10 weeks no not 10 weeks <laughs> 10 weeks one week and honestly i did not realize the impact it would actually have on me and just for reference ref ref rents oh my god um i am running the london marathon at the moment like training for the london marathon and i am so good at keeping up with my long runs like that is one thing i have pride myself on that i have really done it but last week just to show you the level of exhaustion i couldn't so i did have a half marathon plan i woke up i was like absolutely not i just cannot do it was then gonna do 10 miles and i was like absolutely not and then i did 10k which honestly took me everything in me to get out and i was like i know i will feel better after i didn't um but yeah i was just absolutely bloody exhausted so that's why there wasn't a video last week but i'm back on my tab ta tablets this is actually going to be really painful to edit back when i'm like oh my god i'll just get your words out um but i'm back on my tablets now i'm feeling better than ever so yeah i'm back i just wanted to say i'm really sorry for last week hopefully it won't happen again um but yeah i'm back and we're gonna spend the weekend together so another thing i just wanted to draw attention to which i know you guys are not gonna notice but i do not have any nails on so if you've been following me on instagram um i am currently fighting what i think is a thumb infection like round this thumb i want to say properly last weekend it was really really bad i had like a little bit of pain on like the thursday but nothing and then like i think it was on the saturday or the sunday this part of my thumb like it was actually the back of my thumb was so painful literally agony the skin then started to peel off the back of it um, so I was like putting like pseudo cream on it on the Tuesday So last Tuesday I got my nails off because I was like maybe like I've got an allergy to the buyer because I've seen a lot of people like on TikTok talking about that um, And that just didn't help. So I went to the doctors the following day Yeah, the following day and he gave me some antibiotics which well were was really helping um, Until not last night the night before and then it just got so painful again and like this thing was playing up yesterday like I literally had my hand in a cup like that with so salty warm water for 45 minutes yesterday just hoping anything will help. I've been taking Nurofen, Paracetamol as well as like my tablets. So that is my current dilemma and um, I just wanted to draw attention to that because I've got no nails on and I just don't, I don't really feel like myself when I don't have nails on, when I don't have lashes on, when I don't have my eyebrows done. So I think tomorrow we might do a little glow up because I'm feeling a bit bleh because I don't have this stuff and obviously I can't put anything on my nails for the moment like they just need to be like literally nothing I'm gonna get some press on nails for the marathon because like when I take my medal picture I want to have like nice nails do you know what I mean but that is the current situation of my nails which I didn't really need to tell you guys but also just wanted to address the elephant in the room also another thing on my mind this morning the marathon the London marathon is three weeks today it is currently Easter Sunday and I have 21 days until I run this marathon. How bloody mental is that? I've been training since August last year. So how much is that August? Uh, when, I was actually beginning of August. So August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Nine months I've been training for this one day. And I just cannot believe it's nearly over. Obviously, I will still keep running. Well, not obviously. I want to keep running after and like still do my running videos. But 
I can't believe like this period is going to be over. But in three weeks time, you'll have a marathon vlog, which is so bloody exciting. I absolutely cannot wait. But now on to real time. It is currently Easter Sunday at 11.34. So I was actually planning to film this whole weekend. However, on Friday, I unexpectedly did my longest run until the marathon, which was 23 miles. I was actually supposed to do it yesterday. However, Friday, I was just like, I just want to get it done. Like, I was, you know, when you're building it so much up in your head and I was like, no, I just need to do it. I just need to get it done. So I did that. I was so proud of myself. I felt so good after like I got emotional. Like I cannot imagine what I'm going to be like on the actual marathon. Um, but I did it in five and a half hours, which if I can do that pace on marathon day, I will get my dream time of six and a half hours, which I'm really hoping I can get like really hoping I can get. But that is what I did on Friday. And I didn't really want to take my camera because I, it's just, it's like hefty and I'm not taking my ca camera on marathon day. Obviously I will take my phone and then things around the marathon I will have you guys um but I'll take my phone to film um so that's what I did Friday so I didn't take you then and then yesterday was Saturday and I literally just cleaned the house from top to bottom I have done a YouTube shoot on it if you do want to see like what I got up to but I didn't think it'd be like the funnest content ever for you guys to see like a 20, 27 20 minute segment on me just cleaning my house so that is what we have done the last couple of days but I am up here film up here I'm now here filming from like sunday and monday so today the plan is i've already been up i've been up since seven but technically six because like the hour the clock's gone forward um and i have what have i done i've done a little bit of housework like just strip my bed and stuff and then we had a full english just meat well not full english like me and mum had a fried breakfast so we had scrambled eggs baked beans mushrooms and some sausages and it was just 10 out of 10 I'm gonna have a roast today and i'm gonna attempt making honey and no honey glazed parsnips and carrots and i've got a recipe and i just really want to try it because i just really love them like my ex-boyfriend's mum used to make them and they were so good and i just haven't had them since so i want to do that so if i'm like itching my thumb it really hurts um and then i do want to make some cookies as well um but i'm gonna have to get my mum to help me like with cutting things up because i can't put any pressure on it and that's what we're doing today tomorrow i've got a 5k run go and see my grand i really want to try the hot cross bun apple pie from mcdonald's i've got like dry skin there um so that is what we're gonna do and i'm really sorry i've rambled on for like seven minutes this is probably gonna be a five minute like introduction segment but just wanted to do a little like where we've been up until this point and now we can get on with the video so welcome to the cooking segment of this week's vlog i've just turned off that washing machine so hopefully it should stop in a second so first up on the list really random is some fish cakes so i am actually making them um for me and my mum will have some as well but for my gran because we're going to see her tomorrow and she always used to make me these when we were younger um and obviously she's not able to do that now so thought i'd make her some i do have her recipe so so far i've literally just got some potato and whisk in that because this is the one i use i use both packets it's literally just oh i don't know if that's gonna focus so it's literally just this instant mashed potato from tesco she used to use smash but smash was like four pound i was like why am i paying four pounds so we got that and you have to like really whisk it until it's smooth and it's actually giving me our make am i focusing so after i've done that i've literally gonna add some pink salmon which my mum has opened for me and then you literally mix that all together and then put them, make them into balls, rub them in flour and then put them in the oven. It's literally the quickest thing ever, but this is actually giving me an arm, eh? Okay, I've put you down here so you can see what I'm doing. But I've just mixed together the salmon and the um, mashed potatoes. And you don't actually put it in the oven. You fry them, but they have to set. So all you do, this is what it says from the recipe, is you get like, a that literally looks gross. But you get a little ball or you get like a little bit put it into a ball and then you roll in flour oh you actually can't see i'll show you in a sec you roll it in flour so it looks like that pat it down and then i'm just putting it i'll show you after on a sheet of like parchment paper and then it goes into the fridge for about 30 minutes to an hour to set but i'm doing the exact same thing again so put it into a bowl rolling it in this bowl of flour and then get it together and literally just flatten it and then i will do that until they are all done okay and these are my fish cakes these ones look a little bit like not 
as mold as they should these ones look pretty good i have got some smaller ones there for my grand but they're going to go in the fridge for about an hour and then i will fry them off and come back to you but i am so excited they look so good and this literally just screams my childhood okay so next on cooking with charlotte i am making um cookies so it was supposed to be mini eggs however they had none in the shop i think i said that earlier so i've got two mixtures i've got one here which is terry's uh, no mini eggs but the orange version and then i've got another version here which is the um milky bar mini eggs so i've put all like the mixture together i've added the chocolate i've added the mini eggs and now i've got to mix them together and just for reference this is the recipe i'm following it is from jane's patisserie she is so good for like all of her baking stuff i followed it before and these are the ones i'm doing it is so easy all the ingredients there the steps and i'm basically nearly done i wish i'd shown you like a proper before but look at the state of this worktop like i had all the ingredients everywhere i've just put all them away um but honestly i cannot cook or bake and do it nicely like that there is always mess but i thought i'm gonna put everything away like as in like clean it all so then i can literally just put them into balls and then put them in the freezer or fridge i think she says and these are all my cookies ready to put in the fridge i'm just going to put them in the fridge for half an hour it says fridge or freezer so fridge it should be fine so these are the terry uh, no these are the mini eggs for the orange version and these are the um milky bar white chocolate eggs and obviously it has the mint not mint milk chocolate as well and they only make eight i thought i was going to get a lot more out of these but they're like thick from what i've seen on like the recipe so i'm gonna put these in now and then hopefully they will come out looking delicious and now i am moving on to frying those fish cakes so it's literally just in a little bit of olive oil you put it on about four minutes aside so after four minutes i'll flip it over if it's like like golden brown crispy brown and then flip it over do the same the other side and then they will be done okay and this is the fish cakes done if you do follow this recipe or do anything like this this is how you want them to look just a little bit brown there is some flour because i was using a um what's it called like a spatula that had a little bit of flour on it so these are ours and then got some little ones for my grand that we'll take tomorrow but they taste really good me and mum did taste this one and it's just so good and then the last bit of cooking i will be doing today is some honey roasted carrots and parsnips for our roast dinner so I'm literally just going to make the sauce and then my mum will pour it over because my hand is hurting a little bit. Um, but I've got some extra virgin olive oil. Absolutely not. Um, <laughs> mum's just opened chestnuts, chestnut stuff in. And they look gross. So won't be having... Right. Oh. Proper chestnuts. Oh. We need to figure out what to do something with that then. Um, <laughs> but I have the olive oil the honey the Dijon mustard the red wine i'm not going to add thyme or rosemary because we're not like really um seasoned girlies over here but i'm going to add all that stuff together in here and just make it a little mixture right, i'm going to do everything and put all the sauces together so we need one teaspoon of red wine vinegar and um, oh that stinks i don't like that the only little measurement spoon that i haven't used is the quarter so i need four of these that's gonna be it's gonna take me forever one oh it stinks two three a little bit more went in there so we won't do this one as much four I need one teaspoon of dijon mustard so again four of these one not really coming off i'm not gonna lie two three that's probably a little bit more so four. Oh, it's just gone everywhere i hope this tastes nice it's gonna be all over our vegetables and if we don't like it then sorry mum one tablespoon of honey or maple syrup we're gonna go with honey and this is like honey like locally my uncle I don't, it doesn't what's the word like gets honey makes it Harvest it. Harvest it. Well, he doesn't make it. The bees do, don't they? Yeah, his hives. So we've got one tablespoon of that. I love honey as well. I could literally, when I was younger, me and my cousin used to just have honey sandwiches, and I just loved it. Um, I don't know if I'd have it now. I'd have honey on toast now. This is going absolutely everywhere. And then I need three tablespoons again which is this of extra virgin olive oil so that seems a lot one two 
three. Imagine if I just got all the measurements wrong, that would not be okay. Okay, so I've added all those ingredients and now I just need to mix them together. Okay, this is what we're working with, which I'm not gonna lie, it looks bloody gross, but we're just gonna mix that all around. It's actually looking worse. How does one thing just keep getting worse? Well, what is supposed to be like enough for a thousand grams, that's a kilogram, right? of vegetables this is not a lot at all but i have followed the recipe we are obviously going to use less than that so it should be fine but it just doesn't seem like a lot just served up our roast dinner how bloody good does this look so we've got some green beans we've got some my carrots and parsnips which i'll do a taste test some potatoes some chestnut stuff and some chicken some white sauce that my mum does i have got a bit of gravy over the chicken as well and honestly this looks so good i'm so excited to tuck in have you tried the carrots and parsnips yeah they, they taste nice but they don't taste i don't know whether i was expecting really sticky and they're not very honey -y at all i nice like that it needs more honey on it though doesn't it i think well or what or um brown sugar to make it mm. glad i tried it but they don't really taste honey glaze but they are really nice i will try it again maybe just with a different recipe but we're going to enjoy this now okay we did put my cookies in the oven after dinner and they have come out so good like look how gooey oh it's going to focus look how gooey they are inside my mum has had that one i'm going to have one and try one now and i'm so excited that insane i am so happy with that if you want to give these a try definitely try jane patisseries anything from her is amazing but i am going to enjoy this now this is so good good morning guys i am currently out that's very close to my face isn't it i'm currently out on a morning 5k i've only just started i'm 0.4 miles in so still like another over 2.5 but but we could come along i really didn't want to do this run i'm not gonna lie but i do have like the adrenaline and the endorphins going already so definitely feel better but just gonna keep going okay i'm at the halfway point i am sweating it was cold when i went out but with the sun literally pelting not pelting like shining i'm sweating but honestly this is literally the nicest run route and i'm feeling really good i'm going slower because I wanted to have like an easy run. Not that I think there's a thing, but yeah, I'm feeling good. So halfway. Okay, we're at the last half mile now. So again, still just taking it slow. My pace has like increased, as in like got slower. So I decreased, I don't know, with each mile, but I don't really care. I didn't want to come out this morning. So I'm just glad I did it. And I do need to remind myself after the marathon to keep running because obviously I do feel better for it but yeah I'll probably see you when I get home okay I am now home looking a hell of a lot better my skin my not my skin my hair isn't washed um I'm gonna wash that tonight but I have just got dressed and me and mum are just gonna head out to Tesco's I think we're gonna go to TK Maxx in a little bit and we're also going to see my gran but here's my little outfit of the day so I've just got under here the H&M skims dupes top that i'm literally always in this hoodie from i think it's kia the label they sent me some um like a few little tracksuits in there honestly absolutely stunning it's got like this big red writing on the back i did do like a whole tiktok which i can link down below in the description i've then got my trusty sweaty betty yoga pants on honestly if i can find these I will be buying about 20 more pairs because I cannot find them the exact same of these. These were the ones I bought, I think it was like in the sale from John Lewis and all the other ones I can find now are like, they've got like a line, um, like a seam down the side and I don't want a seam down the side. But anyway, um, and then I have to tie in this little pink jumper, I've got these little red um, and pink L trainers on that I got from TK Maxx. So that is the outfit of the day. Oh my God, it has pockets. Didn't realise it had pockets, 10 out of 10. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go to Tesco's, possibly TK Maxx, I'm hoping TK Maxx. I do wanna have a little look round. And yeah, you guys will be coming with us. I'm not gonna lie, this afternoon has turned out a little bit of a fail. So we're supposed to go to TK Maxx we did attempt to go to TK Maxx and it was just absolutely horrendous. Like, we couldn't even get in, like, the parking. It's like a little... It's not a shopping centre. Like, a park... What's the... What's it called? What's it called? Like, where TK Maxx is? Mum. What? What's it called where TK Maxx is? 
It's something park. Retail park, that's what it is. Um, so we tried to get in the retail park and it just, it was just not, it just wasn't, I couldn't. So we came back around, we were then supposed to go to my grandma's and the first time we tried to go, the cat wasn't great. She just looked a bit rough, so we decided not to go. And then the second time we went, I obviously made the fish cakes yesterday and I forgot them. Like, I actually forgot them. Um, and the traffic was so heavy as well. And we were like, I just think the, like, it sounds so stupid, but we had tried twice to go and it just, it just felt like the universe was trying to tell us not to go. Um, but we did go to Sainsbury's and I did get some Tony's little eggs because like all the Easter egg chocolate was reduced. So my manager actually got me these um, for Easter and I ate them all and they were so good and they're only £2.50 so they are so good so I got those and I'll also show you um, what Easter eggs I got. So I did actually pick out my Easter egg. I've really wanted to try this for the last couple of years. It's the Marks and Spencers. It's like a biscuity one. So I got that and then I also got a white chocolate lint bunny which I knew I was getting these because um, I was with my mum but then she also got um, me a massive mini. She got both me and my brother like a massive mini eggs bar like that's my hand. So one two three like four things of my hands and this this chocolate is so good and then because my dad and brother are away at the moment my dad ordered me and my mum um an easter egg each so we've got we haven't chosen whose is whose yet but this they're both from hotel chocolate or chocolate i don't know how you say it so one of them is like a fruity one and then i think we'll probably just share them this one is it has like um this brownie what else does it have cheesecake so yeah that's what those are all my easter eggs which is quite a lot i'm very aware um but i do i just love chocolate and i think chocolate is better in easter egg form so i think now for the rest of the afternoon i'm really sorry if you can hear like my mum going through the freezer my dad and brother are bringing pasties back and she's making space um but what am I going to do for the rest of the afternoon? Probably just watch some catfish for the, literally the rest of the afternoon. I do want to measure up my um, wardrobes because I want to create like my Ikea wardrobe because my wardrobes are just so beyond broken. And in the summer, I really want to buy new wardrobes. And obviously when I move out, I'll take them with me because they're bloody expensive. So maybe I'll do that, but I say that and I probably won't. And I'll just sit and watch catfish for the rest of the afternoon. But I will catch you in whatever we do. Catch you in. Let's not update you catch up with you whatever it is hello besties as you can probably see it is now the next day i did do like a little glow up yesterday like did my lashes did my derma planning and i just had an early night i say actually it wasn't an early night it was like an average night for me um and then i've been at work all day today but i just wanted to come on here and end the video thank you so much for sending it with me i'm so sorry that yesterday didn't really go to plan it was just so busy out and i have no idea why but a lot of people are saying the same things um but as always please remember to like comment subscribe and join the best friend club really enjoying youtube at the moment and i'm so glad to be back like one week i was away how can i miss it so much in one week do you know what i mean um but yeah i will see you next week for another video not sure what it'll be but there will definitely i want to actually i'll just touch wood there will be one but then in case there isn't i don't want you guys to be disappointed but thank you so much for watching i really hope you do enjoyed and i will see you next week for another video love ya